Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they say that we're modeling a person running a 100 meter dash, and they say that they run with a constant acceleration until they get their top speed, and then they maintain that speed through the finish line. So they say that the sprinter reaches his top speed in 11.2 meters per second, or his top speed of 11.2 meters per second in 2.14 seconds. So what will be his total time? We need to figure out what the acceleration is for that. So let's do that right now. So we know acceleration is going to be equal to the change in the velocity or the change in time. The velocity they tell us, like we just talked about, is 11.2 meters per second, and the time is 2.14 seconds. So now we're going to have meters per second divided by seconds or meters per second squared. So of course that's the correct units. So now we have 11.2 divided by... We said it was a time, 2.14 seconds, gives us 5.23, 5.23 meters per second squared, which is the acceleration. So we'll use that in the next parts of the problem. So let's give us a little bit more room. And now first, let's draw a picture of what's going on in the, the question. So they say that we have a section where they're accelerating and then from that point on, they're going at a constant speed for the whole 100 meters right here. So this is 100 meters. And so this is acceleration phase, and then this is constant velocity phase. So for this first section, we need to figure out how far did they go. So to do that, we'll use kinematic equations. And the one we'll use is x final is equal to x initial plus the initial velocity times time plus one half times the acceleration times t squared. I always recommend writing out the whole equation and then going through and checking off what isn't needed in the equation. It will help you especially on tests, but it's really good practice to get into the habit now. One, so that you can show your grader that you knew the whole formula, but also it's really easy to get tripped up and try to go too fast and do things in your head and then make a mistake and then you'll lose points. So the initial X for this is zero. He's starting out at, at the start of the race, so that will go away. The initial velocity, same thing, is also zero, so that will also go away. So that gives us the X final for this first section is equal to one half times the acceleration times the time squared. So now when we plug this in, we have one half times the acceleration, which we said was 5.23 meters per second squared times by the time of 2.14 seconds, 2.14 seconds, and we'll square that whole value. So now we have 0.5 times 5.23 times the time of 2.14, and we'll square the time, gives us 11.97, so we can round that to 12 meters for how far he went for that first section. So now for the second part, we know that we're going in a 100 meter dash, and we're gonna subtract 12 meters, so the rest of the section is 88 meters that he'll be going for the constant velocity. So now we can use the velocity equation, which is the velocity is a change in the x over the change in time. And we want to solve for the time, so let's move the time over. So delta x is equal to v times delta t. Then we'll move v over, so now we have t is equal to delta x over the velocity. So we can figure out the time now for this section because we know how far he has to go for the second section and we know how fast he'll be doing it. So we have both of the variables that we need. So the time will be equal to 88 meters and then we'll divide that by the top speed and be careful because it's tempting to just plug in this value that we got right here. But what we want to do is we want to plug in the top speed, which we said was 11.2 meters per second. So we have 11.2 meters per second. Now if we look at the units, we have meters over 1 divided by meters per second. Dividing by two fractions is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So meters over 1 times seconds over meters gives us seconds over one or seconds. So we know that we are doing the math correctly here. So 88 meters divided by his top speed of 11.2 meters per second gives us a time of 
8. We have our time of 7.86 for this section, and they gave us the time for 2.14 for this section. So for the total time, t total is equal to 2.14 seconds for the first section plus 7.86 seconds for the second section. So we have 2.14 plus 7.86 gives us a total time of 10 seconds even. So the total time for this runner for the 100 meter dash is 10 seconds flat.